I was working at a local elementary school recently. Walking around, speaking to teachers and children, it dawned on me that several of the educational reforms under discussion have actually been around for quite a while. Just take a stroll down to the kindergarten classes. If only the rest of school looked a little bit more like those classrooms. In fact, eight important principles of a 21st century education can be found in most kindergarten classrooms every day of the week. The first rule of kindergarten is to have fun. Kindergarten students love coming to school, and if any child doesn't seem happy, we make it a high priority to find and remedy the problem. Happy, playful children aren't daydreaming and clock watching, they're engaged and absorbed in their activities. Creativity is a staple of a kindergarten education. We're constantly encouraging toddlers to think and play creatively and even design the classrooms in an attempt to stimulate their creativity using bright colours, informal seating, and allowing children ample room to move around. Contrast that to the staid colours and fixed rows of desks you'll find in most upper school classes, where frankly thinking out of the box is very rarely encouraged. We understand that young children are social by nature and we encourage them to mingle. We allow them appropriate time to roam around and to socialise and recognise the value of getting them to work together in small groups. Then they get older and we tell them to sit alone, face the front and work quietly on their own. Children are curious and they learn by exploring the world around them. They observe, ask questions and demand answers. Their world is a playground that they constantly explore. Then they get older and their curiosity is shelved because it doesn't fit into some arbitrarily delineated course curriculum. We understand the importance of experiencing your learning in kindergarten and we try to give our children as wide a range of experiences as possible. Tastes, smells, sounds, building things, trying things, learning from your mistakes. We understand that learning by doing and by experiencing is the deepest and most effective way of learning. We communicate using a variety of different media in kindergarten. Children look at photos listen to music, watch video, tell stories, and of course also read books. In upper grades, learning occurs almost entirely through text, and students that struggle expressing themselves with text are often left behind. Children need to move. Honestly, we all need to move. It's healthy for body and mind. In kindergarten, we arrange the furniture to facilitate movement, and we give children ample time and equipment for play. In upper school, we tell them to sit still and face the front. Finally, in kindergarten, we strive to make learning as meaningful as possible. And for it to be meaningful, it has to be relevant to the lives of students. If children can't relate to it, then it won't hold their interest. On the other hand, the vast amount of bleary-eyed, daydreaming students in upper grades is testament to the fact that they don't relate to the predefined package of content prescribed by authorities somewhere far away from the lives of our students. So if you have a few moments, I'd strongly encourage you to take a stroll down to the lower grades in your school. In fact, the lower the better. Spend a few minutes observing the dynamics in class. Note the energy, the laughter, the enthusiasm, the genuine thirst for learning. Then ask yourself, why can't it be that way throughout school?